So let's get into our first category here. We're going to go with best music video of the year. Now, I think that the the criteria that I've judged my list off of versus what other people may have judged theirs off may be different. Um, obviously, you could look at a video and think it's amazing because of its cultural relevance, how memorable it was, maybe just how good the song was, right? Now, we've not got to confuse with how good a song is to how good the video is because there's a couple of videos in my list that may not be... Like, they're, they're good songs, in it? They may not be the best songs that we've heard all year. They're not top five tracks I've heard all year, but it's the video that I'm focusing on, all right? That's, that's something that we've really got to focus in on for a moment because I think some people may have picked their list based on the three songs that come to mind first. I may have picked videos based on like, okay, this person's filmed this and look what they've done with the editing. Look how they've shot it. How creative have they got? Like we're looking at things like that. So you could say the video is the best video of the year because of how important it was to that artist and how monumental it was and it's culture changing. Duh, 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 duh. Or you might look at it and be like, look, he shot it on an iPhone, but look how mad my man went in After Effects. There's a difference. Like, is it a good video just because it's high quality equipment? Or can you shoot a video off of an iPhone and it be a one take and it be a better video than the one that had a massive production company? That's something I'm going to leave people to debate because speaking to a couple of videographers, they've, they kind of, uh, I've, I've heard a split of opinions. I've heard some people say, well, yeah, if they've invested in that equipment and they're using it right, that should be recognized. And I've heard other people say, well, why can't a video filmed off of a GoPro be like the best thing all year? I kind of see where both are coming from. So mine is leaning slightly more on the side of how well it is filmed and the editing techniques versus just the quality of their camera, despite obviously everything in this list having high quality cameras and it just all looking fucking great. Like, let's just make it clear. If you can have both, that's probably what's going to top the list. So for my list, that's what it feels like. Um, so yeah, let's get into number five. We've got 1-4 featuring Dutch Valley and Carnage Better, which was directed by Maddie King. Um, now I'm presuming Maddie King is a she. I apologize if not, um, but they have worked with One Four quite closely this year, from what I can see. Uh, has worked with with One Four most of their videos. Uh, seems like another good addition to the team. That's there, reliable, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Maddie King has really produced some high quality videos for One Four. Like obviously. We're going to get into the whole 1-4 discussion soon. And, and I want to focus more on the video aspects and their visuals. But like, let's look at their visuals this year. They've had some crazy ones. And in my opinion, better is their, their best one. Home and Away wasn't on the nominations list, but Home and Away is is quite iconic. It's more memorable. If I think of a 1-4 video, the two videos I think of is Home and Away and The Message. They're the two videos that I picked up before anything else. But I feel like better is just a better, sorry for a lack of better words, fuck's sake. Um, like, you know, I, I just feel like the way it was put together is just mad. Like, yeah, they've, they've blown out the budget or whatever for it as well, hiring the cars, they've got the dancers, you know. But just looking at the difference and the variety in their shots, it's not just one location. They've done the black and white shot, which fits in with the theme of the album cover or the EP cover. They've got the the scene on the runway with those warm colors and like just that exotic feel. But these men are just burning like it, and it and it, it just. Then you've got obviously like the dragon little transition effect, which I don't know. When I first seen it, I was a bit like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it, but. As time's gone, I don't know, I remember it now and it fits in, it just fits in well with the video, like, then obviously I'm not too, too focused on Dutch's part of the video because that's obviously his team in the UK here, um, but it fit in well with the video, it fit in perfectly fine, obviously they've got the aeropl aeroplane runway kind of theme going on there, um, I like the casino shots. I just, I just feel like the 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 visuals match the energy of the song so well, and I feel like that was really well captured by Maddie King, edited really well. Just, it's a great video in my opinion. Number four on my list, I've got Nerve and Just a Gent Tulips, 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 Tulips. I'm gonna say Tulips. Um, 
yeah, directed by Zach Harris. I thought it was directed by Carl Golly at first, but no, it's directed by Zach Harris. Um, who, again, someone I'm not too, too familiar with. Um, but definitely, they put together a movie here, man. Like, an absolute movie with this one. Um, and this is an example of, like, I like Nerve Song Tulips. I like the song. But I'm focusing on the video here. It's not, like, Nerve's best song of the year. But the video is mad. The video is mad. Like, we've got plausible enough acting like sometimes when artists do the acting in the music video it's a bit meh but it is what it is and it's the boys just trying to create a narrative for their track here is genuinely like good like the way that the actors and actresses deliver their lines is very well done i really love the um the cameo from scotty minster i feel like he plays his role really well i feel like the way it's shot and put together is quite clear the way the ending comes together is all like the reveal at the end is relatively like quite clear i know first time watching for i was a bit like huh but no it's quite clear how he just finessed the whole thing um and even down to the shots that we have during the actual music video itself like the makeup that is done when nerves getting beaten like just like everything is just so well put together and it's and it's a, a good example of what happens when you meticulously plan something like you carefully plan something and then execute it that exact way like i just feel like it's just such a well put together video in my opinion third on my list i have on the gangs j6 doubted us now OTG on the gang, they've had some really good videos this year. Like, really good videos. If I was to go pick it a bunch, I'm going to go with Doubted Us. Hold It Down was a very close second. And I nearly got that nominated as well. The same way Nerve got two nominations. I nearly did a double nomination for Triple One and I nearly did a double nomination for On the Gang. Um, but yeah, Doubted Us is it's a good video and again they don't do nothing revolutionary with the video in some ways but just everything is like whoa that's a cold shot and then when they flip to a new scene it's like yo that's a cold shot like there's nothing weak in the visuals like yes they've got the high quality cameras they've got a couple smoke machines they've got the boys on the bikes and the atvs and this and that but like just the way it's color graded the lighting that is captured the mood that it brings like they just like yeah every shot just hits hard man like every shot you could take a screenshot and it's like a fucking wallpaper in it you know what i mean like that's how you know you've made a very cinematic music video when you can just pause at any moment and it's like yo that looks cold that looks like art you know what i mean and, and that's what it is i feel like videography isn't art it's it's it is art. It is capturing another essence of art. Like, music is art. Videography is art. And so if the videography is able to capture the music side and art comes together, I think that's sick. And again, this is another example of Doubt With Us isn't in my top 10 songs of the year. It's a good track. It's not the best. But the video is a madness. So yeah, shout out to Stephen Garrett who directed that one, uh, who works quite closely with OTG. Um, Stephen Garrett, yeah, man, like he fucking flexed. He did his thing on this. Absolutely did his thing on this one. Um, and yeah, so that's three directors now that we've had from, from three to five that I've not been aware of before, to my knowledge. Maybe I have seen their content and just didn't know it was them kind of thing. Never looked into them, but three names that I want people to to keep an eye out for, you know, because, you know, they've they've all done their thing. Stephen Garrett, Zach Harris, Maddie King, all three of these people have absolutely smashed some of these videos this year, in my opinion. Number two on the list, which number one and two, I'm I'm torn which way round it should go. I'm very torn about which way around this should go. And if you ask me tomorrow, I feel like it's going to change. Because I did change this round. So number two was my number one on first initial thoughts. And I did change it around last moment. But I am going to go with number two being triple one Love Rose. Um, Love Rose is such a beautiful video. Like, such a beautiful video another video where you can pause at any moment and it's photography like 
videography and photography skills are very different. I know people that are sick photographers can't film a video for shit. I know people that are the opposite way round, yeah? But when your videography is photography also, that's madness. You know, like that. Martin Guilfoyle, Marty of Triple One, I didn't actually know that last year. Didn't know that halfway during this year. But now we do know. Marty was actually a uh, member in Triple One directed this alongside Tyson Perkins these two whatever they've come up with whatever they've decided works works that doesn't even make sense but we're rolling with it because listen if we're looking at editing it's not they've not had to do anything crazy but if we're looking about how they can flip a location and how they can find good looking scenes this this video is mad like that video makes me want to go and visit that place and the way that they've used it they've not just stood in front of something nice and just gone yeah here's us performing they have then done abstract shit like like Dijon's walking around with a fucking horse in a robe holding a torch what does that even mean but it looks sick Obi has decided to submerge himself in what looks like ice water. Again, an absolute madman. I think he's a little bit more strange for having old women touch him up in the, um, not Selena video, Sunshine video. But yeah, for him to do that dedication, I like the whole imagery with the, the people in the ghillie suits with the white masks on. I think it's sick what Marty does. Like, just everything just yeah you know what i mean it just yeah and that leaves my number one again who was my initial number two but then when i just look at back at it if we look at how a video is edited if we look at how particularly everything is planned and then executed if we look at how the video embodies everything that the song is and captures the personality of the artist in my opinion it's nerve with Reese, Re, Re, <laughs> I stumbled on that bit. <laughs> it's got to be Nerve, Reese's Pieces, directed by Kyle Golly. <sighs> Nerve, we're going to have a discussion with Nerve when we get to Act of the Year, innit? But like, when we're talking about everything this man is doing is just gold. That includes his visuals as well. Because there's ones that aren't on this list that are great fucking videos like hopscotch is a great video in my opinion even answer shit like walk and talk free i know that's simple in it but it's a good video we look at what he did for migraines another great video that i didn't check till after the nominations it probably wouldn't have made my nomination list anyway but another example of a good video but reese's pieces oh my god do you want to know how to put like a colorful poppy punchy video together i don't even know if they're correct adjectives to describe a video but it, we, that's what we're doing that's how good this video is i'm not even using grammarish correctly english is out the window pull up your socks this is a bop only nerve can manage to rock hit, promote hit not only nerve but he's managed to promote his merch in the song and then have that represented with the visuals like these man just had fun doing this video in it they just did. Carl Golly's editing, the way he's directed this, it's just an absolute madness. I don't know, like, because you can see that they've not just done random shots. It's, they've had to sit down and probably do a storyboard of some sort. Like, and then for them to go and execute it the way they have, I feel like it probably looks better than they even imagine themselves. I don't know. Maybe I have a bit of favoritism because I really like Nerve as an artist and I really like the song. But, fuck me, man. How did, like... Well, I'm going to have a big rant in a moment because I'm probably going to come back to Reese's Pieces when we get to your list, innit? Which might be a little bit of a spoiler, but Reese's Pieces is top two videos of the year along with Triple One's Love Rose. If I could put them side by side as best videos, they would. Because they are there for different reasons. And that goes back to what I was talking about at the start in terms of you can have a video that is just beautiful and i will never forget it and that's what triple one's love rose is or you can have a video like nerves reese's pieces that is just so well 
put together from how it's planned to how it's edited and they're two different criteria for why i like them and that's why they're kind of just joint first in a way um but today i feel like saying nerves reese's pieces so Carl golly congrats man like congrats to the whole team that was a part of that which by the way can we just mention this before we get into to your list it's not just the directors in it this is like the people who work on lighting the people who run as what is the term grips people who you know i mean just bear shit i can't think of the terms right now but you know what i mean like everyone that is a part of these video shoots everyone that's a part of the team deserves credit you know what i mean so if i've mentioned the directors i mentioned them because they're the head of the video but they've got a team around them that also helps and people like crazy help me realize this you know it's not just about ah uh, well he's the person holding the camera so he's the one who's done all the work no it takes a team of people around them to do it as well it also for for most videos the artist themselves also has a say in in the direction of the video they're the one who probably projects the idea across in the first place but then for a director to then take that and turn it into what that artist is thinking that's the true skill or whether it's the editor or whether it's the person who needs to capture that lighting in a certain correct way you get what i'm saying so it's never just one person when it comes to most video shoots like for me i don't have a budget when i do videos it's filmed by my boy it's edited by me and my boy you know like that for other people who have these teams though that's that's a skill in itself some people may think oh well they have a really high budget and they have a great team around them so of course their video is going to look great that doesn't mean it's easy to do sometimes that's more difficult sometimes it can be a case of too many chefs in one kitchen and so for them to all play their role and all add their own spice and ingredient to then make this dish at the end is mad get what i'm saying so we've got to give homage to everyone that's a part of these videos man and with that being said let's have a little discussion about your list because they're nominated for a reason in it like these videos have been nominated and they are here for good reason but i can't help but feel people have just voted based on a popularity contest now this is not me to say like these videos don't deserve to be here because of course they deserve to be in the discussion but just let's put it like this i've only picked one video that is the same as your list that's the bit that gets me more than anything so just to be clear for the ones who may not know the people who may not have voted or people who are watching this in the future uh people got to vote for free picks and it just counts as one equal vote um and obviously then i take the five most popular out of what everyone voted and we go from there and out of nearly 2400 people People have voted at number five to be Enemies No Reason, directed by Carlin Leota. Uh, Enemies No Reason. I love Enemies No Reason. I love it as a track. I said at the start of the year when I first reacted to it, this is going to be top three tracks of the year. I'm sitting here now at the end of the year and saying it's a comfortable top 10, maybe top five, but we'll say top 10 to be safe. I think it's maybe around that sixth or seventh place to be perfectly honest with you like music this year has been really good can't lie really good but yeah enemies no reason is a great video um and i spoke to enemy about this uh, on the podcast i spoke to them about the filming process and at first i thought they were filming separately individual so shots because of uh covid but it was actually just because that's the direction they wanted to go in um again they've not gone with no mad location even down to the the editing isn't crazy crazy either but just it works you know like that like it just works i don't know how else to describe it like it's a really good video it didn't make my top five because that's the problem i think it has it doesn't have nothing that stands out either it's just a really well put together video and so i understand why it made people's list though, and i'm not I'm not mad at it making people's lists, but I'm mad that one or two of my picks didn't get above it. If I'm being if I'm being fair, respectfully, I just feel like a couple of my picks just deserve to be above it. But we'll come back to it in a moment, and we'll get onto that. I'll get onto that rant. Uh, number four on the list is "Chilling It" featuring Lisey Stanford, directed by John Baxter. Um, 
obviously chilling it and Lucy film filming separately. Uh, Lucy filming in Goodna, chilling it filming in somewhere in Sydney. Is it Hurstville? I could be so wrong. I apologize if I'm wrong. I don't know where Chill's staying at the moment anyway. That man's probably just about doing whatever. Yeah, it's Hurstville. It is because it shows in the fucking video itself. But um, yeah, another similar to Enemies No Reason. It's a really well done video, especially because they've shot separately and they've managed to keep a consistent theme. Again, there's no crazy location. The editing's nice. The editing's, I'd, I'd say, a step up from Enemies No Reason. But, again, it's not in mad, mad techie. Like, it's all performance shots in it. And then, obviously, they've got B-roll and they've put a couple nice filters over the top and thrown it together. And again, it's a great video. There's a reason why it's nominated. Just personally, I can't see it being picked over one or two of my ones that have not been picked. Speaking of which, we go into number three, another one that I did not pick, but was probably the closest to being in. Uh, Hooligan Hefts featuring Massey Rook, Hooligan Skinny, and Hooks Fame. Uh, standing for Fuck All My Enemies. Uh, directed by Creasy. First off, shout out to Crazy Vision and the team. Every single time I will shout out that team because they always smash it. Um, fame is... Fame is a very important song for Hefs. A very important song. And the visuals are cold. Like, if we're... If, if I'm looking at one fours better, Fame is the one that could sneak into my list. It is. It's the one that that was kind of my sixth place, if anything. And I could argue joint fifth. Um, I think the reason it missed out is that better just... I feel like it just flipped locations that tiny bit better. Like, there was more variety in locations, whereas Fame had all the ingredients that better had, but it... And you could argue that's why it's better because it kept more of a consistent theme. And this is why I'm like, tomorrow I could have swapped them around. I very easily could have. I think it looks dope though. I like the whole dark theme they go with. I like the Grim Reaper shit that they do. I like the side on profile shots. Like, I, There's a lot of shit that I like from this video and I think it's a great song. And obviously the reaction I did to it at the start of the year was pretty big for me. Uh, I'm pretty iconic for a lot of people. Um, but yeah. It's a great video and it's and it's one that I'm not mad at being in the top five list I'm not mad at it being in the top five list in any way shape or form Just gonna move my list over there because I feel like it's gonna look better uh, Yeah for the people this is the first one that does cross over This is the first pick that is in your list that was also in mine and that is one fours better now Here's the problem I have with it I believe it deserves to be in the top five discussion. There's a reason I've put it in mine. But I feel like number two is a bit too high. I feel like that's too high. I feel like there's better videos than, than One Falls Better this year. In my opinion. In my humble opinion. That's what I think. I think people are picking it because of a popularity contest. And I think that's the problem that One Four is going to have. One Four deserves to be at the top of a lot of discussions. They even deserve to be in a discussion for best video of the year. They've had two nominations. But it's not better than one or two of the picks I've had. It's not. It's not. It's not better than than Reese's Pieces or Triple One's Love Rose, which, by the way, spoiler, is not number one on your list either. And that's where I'm going to come back to the other few. Better fame stand for no reason. The four that are second to fifth in your public grown list is not better than Nerves Reese's Pieces or Triple One's Love Rose. It's not. Now, obviously, more people know One Four is better than they do Triple One's Love Rose. They probably know it just as much and more than Nerves Reese's Pieces. And that's the problem that I feel that we have with this is that people have picked it because they like the song and because they know one for and it's because they don't know about thing. Maybe that's my fault for not doing a nominations video thing where people could have watched the videos and I did a short social media post, but obviously it's small. Like maybe that's my fault, innit? But I feel like people need to just clue themselves up because it's not better. <laughs> I keep using it as a pun. Um, 
not intentionally but it's just it's just not it's not it's a good video it's an amazing video it's a sick video but it's not better than nerves reese's pieces or triple one's love rose it's not and we're going to number one of your list and now this is the one that i'm not mad at it being number one in a lot of ways though and this is where I'm weird. This is where I'm a fucking weirdo. Because it being number one in your list, I get it and I understand it. And I, in some ways, agree with it. But it didn't even make my top five. Is that weird? And so we get into number one on your list. And it's One Four's Welcome to Prison, directed by One Four themselves. Nah. What, what, what are we doing here, people? Because... I'm not mad at it being number one in your list. I'm really not. But at the same time, I am. But I'm not. If we talk about a video that is visually important to, to a group's or artist's catalogue, it's got to be like top two. That and the message, obviously. The message was just monumental and it's something that is rooted in history and we can't really change that. But Welcome to Prison is a big turning point in One Four's career path. A big turning point. And I feel like that's really well captured in the visuals itself. And for that reason, that's why I'm not mad at it being number one. But if we look at it as an actual video, it's a nice video. And again, it's in this list because of the cultural impact and because of the message that it conveys. It's not there because of editing or how it's filmed or anything like that there's nothing crazy that they actually do visually in that way it's the imagery that they capture and that's why i'm so torn because the physical side of me says like no this video ain't nothing special but the sentimental and the the how do i explain it like the emotional side of me agrees with it being number one but if we're gonna put it physically side by side on mute next with no context next to reese's pieces love rose and welcome to prison it's it's not topping the other two but if we but with the understanding of what that video means and to what the song means as well it probably does deserve to be in that top five if not number one so i don't know how i feel about that that it it confuses me in a lot of ways it really does it throws me off in so many ways so yeah, the only one pick that crossed over was one fours better to to uh, mine as well, and otherwise none of the others make the list. And I just feel like maybe I've picked the videos that are <laughs> obviously I'm gonna say this the videos that are better, but they're lesser known songs, whereas people have picked the more popular songs itself. I don't know. There's obviously gonna be individuals that have picked a similar list to me that will agree with me, and then there's gonna be people who pick the obvious ones. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comment section about best music video of the year. Because, yeah, I don't know. I'm not mad at it, though. Although I have my gripe, although I, I have my personal opinion, I'm not mad at it. <laughs>